almost perfect they look like let's find out together welcome back to my channel a small line books today i decided to do a visioning exercise <laughs> meaning i want to take you through what i consider my almost perfect sunday in brooklyn i say almost perfect because i just feel like i don't have the capacity to make it be perfect and i feel like perfect will come eventually so this is the almost perfect sunday in brooklyn vlog a perfect day has to start with a cup of coffee in my cute mug that i got in mexico city and a splash of oat milk that's my coffee that my go-to coffee development <laughs> um and yeah i'm gonna obviously read in this vlog because it's a perfect sunday and is it a perfect sunday if you're not reading so the book i'm gonna read today I'm actually in the middle of Bliss Montage by Ling Ma, a book of short stories. Um, she's the author of Severance, which is a novel that I read back in 2020 that kind of featured like pandemic-esque, um, a pandemic narrative, uh, even though it was published before the 2020 pandemic. But I really loved her writing. I just, I'm taken back to that time when I read this book and I felt like we were just cooped up inside the house and it just like... Most people don't want to read about a pandemic in a pandemic, but somehow it comforted me in some level. Anyway, love Ling Ma's writing, so I, I'm, I picked up this montage. Um, it's a pretty short one, so I should probably finish it soon, and then I'll see what else I'm going to read. I had brunch, went to the park, I walked around the park for a little bit before I read, and I finished this montage. Um, I gave it three stars out of five. Um, personally, I just found it to be a little disappointing given that I really hyped it up in my head. And I found myself frustrated with the stories a lot, so I'm wondering if I need to possibly reread this one because I just it just didn't land for me a lot of a lot of the stories. Um, they were like really weird and surreal, which I usually like, but I just felt myself being frustrated. Like, what is like, what is the overall point? Like, what is, what am I supposed to get from this one? The last story is very memorable to me, but the other ones are really not that memorable. Um, like I can't even tell you much about them. I can tell you like the gist, but like, usually when I read stories, I'm able to like get into the meat of the stories. So a three out of five for me. I will reread this just because I feel like I'll give her another chance. I have friends who really enjoy this montage, so I usually like tend to like align with my friends' book interests, so I don't know what happened with this one. Anyway, a perfect day I think requires like a half an hour to an hour nap, which is what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Feeling refreshed and I am dressed to go to Jazz and a brownstone in Bed Stuy. It's actually called Brownstone Jazz. It's a very intimate jazz session. Uh, I'm really excited to just have this like solo evening by myself. After jazz, I'll maybe get a bite to eat, depending on where it feels like the best place for solo dining. And it also has options for me for me to eat. Um, but I was reading If I Survive You by Jonathan Escoffrey. So far, I like it, but I'm a sucker for anything written in Caribbean patois dialect, so that's probably a little bias I have. Um, is I have one small qualm with the book, but I feel like that's a spoiler if I mention it, so I just won't. But like, it's not all rainbows over here, but so far, it's going good. Let's go to jazz. <laughs> Thank you. 
just got back from jazz. It was phenomenal, so intimate, so cozy. I learned so much about the jazz grades, a lot of bed -Stuy history, because that's the neighborhood in Brooklyn which the jazz was at. I'm sorry if you can hear a lot going on in my background, that's just my neighborhood. It's a holiday weekend. But this is kind of the end of the day. It's about 10 p.m. right now. I had dinner, didn't get that much clips at dinner, but I had dinner at Cafe Rudy, which is a French Senegalese restaurant. That was good. Um, took the train home. And I'm gonna change out of my outfit and cozy up and read If I Survive You. And that is it. I really hope this was enjoyable. What do I rate this day? I give it a seven and a half out of ten because I had to do a lot of like walking. I don't know that my perfect day there's a lot of walking involved. <laughs> it is the end of my almost perfect day vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Stay good, stay iry. Thanks for living with me.